or child, Nikki the God. So we got Nikki the God here. Nikki the God. She says, mm, your child should never be the only fully melanated child in any environment. Stop placing your black children in dangerous situations. So you heard that. You heard what Nikki the God said. You should your, your child should never be the only fully melanated. So there should never be just one. Even biracial kids, she should never even be. It should be other. You should never put your child in a situation, your black child, where they're the only blackly black child there. Because it's dangerous. And you know why? Because this six second clip. Now, I'm going to drop the link, man. Um, I'm going to drop the link, man. Because I need some help with this one, man. I mean, I need some help. I ain't even gonna lie. Oh, Ock, oh, Ock Nation needs some help with this one, man. I, I, I don't get this one. I don't get this one, man. Um, old Ock Nation needs some help with this one. It's unusual to be loved by anyone. <laughs> Old Ock Nation needs your help, man. Um. I don't know, man. I'm a little bit. Um, did this six second clip is supposed to be indicative of how you should never leave your kids around white people because, you know, they don't know how to take care of your kids. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. What's up, man? How's it going? How's it going, man? You know, right off rip though, man. Like this little kid in the blue shirt there, man. He looked mixed. And there's like yeah. a there's like Wicked's daughter over here sitting <laughs> on this chick's lap. <laughs> Fully melanated. Fully melanated. Salute to Eric S <laughs> taking the five dollar challenge. Um this right here is Indicative, this eight second clip has black people losing their heads. What happened here that's so egregious? Because I, I can't figure it out. I'm coming, Madeline. I'm coming. I'm coming, Madeline. I'm coming. I'm confused. Yeah, I'm, 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 I, I don't That's know, but I see a skunk and a bunch of babies crying and wobbling around. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of like what I see too, man. Not going to lie. Let me read some of these comments. Um, Big dog, who's a chick, says, I'm here to tell you my experience. My son was the only black kid on his basketball team. They used to purposely not pass the ball to my baby. All kinds of weird shit. It went on for like two games because I had to make sure I wasn't tripping. I got fed up and spoke the fuck up. Well, listen, if you're a black guy on a basketball team and, and you don't get the ball, you suck. Because <laughs> being the only black guy on a basketball team, man, that's I like a... That, that's what I was thinking. Like, he should have been a star. 
Yeah. You know, I, I, I guess it ain't always about winning, right? I, right. I mean, that's like literally you're the you. That's a gift from God. Yeah. I would have loved to have been the only black dude on my basketball team. Exactly. Yeah. Like he should have been a star. Yeah, man. Like, they would be the, happy to have him on the team. They win every game. You get all the shots. Exactly. Um, you ain't gonna win every game because you you the only black guy on the fucking team. But Never you know what I mean. If they're playing against yeah. a bunch of sorry little sorry white boys, they win. Yeah. Um Nikki the God says most of the time it's so subtle that you have to gather evidence to prove it. And she's talking about this clip. I'm, in Madeline, I'm, coming. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what happened here. Um something subtle happened in here. Um then Karen Love says, baby girl tried to find her own safe space. I'm coming, Madeline. I'm coming. What did these white people do to this little black girl? The baby looked like she shit on herself and trying to be her with a furry animal. I'm trying to figure this one out, man. Um, salute to um Judah, man. Salute to Judah, man. Judah the little the Chinese brother. baby want to eat it. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm shit. sorry. I can't say <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, man. You, I'm sorry. That was that was that was that was that was oh my god, bro. That was, that was, that was fucking great. Jeez. <laughs> um. I'm trying to figure out. This this one says, "Child looking like she had nowhere to go, or who to turn to." Shaking my head. And then Patrice says, "When you turn around and no one resembles you, gracefully walked away." So she did. These people are. It was like it was like micro astro world in there, man. Look at that. <laughs> they really think these babies have a concept have a concept of color. It's a baby. She don't even know what the hell. What's the offense though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Y'all still can't tell me what's the offense. Is it because they hand the skunk to the little white baby first? Mm. If I was to well, look Oh. Really deep, oh, that's, but the that's little white babe is. was afraid of it. And the Chinese babe was like, "I want to eat it," and then she just the black girl was like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, I don't want to." Do oh, this. that's what it is. You think that's what it is, Wicked? It, it looks like it looks. They, they pass her up, but this is an hey, eight second Asian video. We don't know if this black girl's been touched the baby sixty times before or after this eight second yeah. clip. Right? No, well, we know we know it's bullshit, but I think that's what they think. Okay, so that's what it is. Yeah, because I'm thinking reasonably that somebody would be like, "Hey, man, this eight second clip. The black girl could have fucking that could that black girl could have fucking slept with that baby during that." <laughs> she took a night with that. it. <laughs> yeah, like we don't know, but this, right. this eight second clip has black people going crazy. They're talking like as if because the way they're talking, <laughs> I'm I'm trying to figure out like, am I am I crazy? Um, this one says, um, Bronzeville says, and upon further inspection, you're going to tell me that you don't see that little black boy with red hair right up front by the teacher trying to pet the skunk. You reach it majorly with this, sis. Oh, so I think the black boy was trying to pet the skunk and they, oh, so instead of, so, it's too, so the, the teacher you want to see oh, the teacher, instead of letting these two pet the skunk, she stuck it right between both of them. And this white kid just got there. Look, the white kid just showed up. Look, watch watch the white kid. He just shows up. White privilege in action. But it's probably, I want, it's probably her child or something, like her baby. Watch the white kid just comes into the scene. Watch, watch, watch this. 
boom, he 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 he's plopped down, and instantly. Mm. But what was going on five seconds before that? Um, America in a nutshell, right? Yeah. Or or what if the black baby and the mixed baby was already playing with the skunk, and the teacher was like, "Bring little Joseph over here, let him see the skunk," and then this yeah. when they start recording. Yeah, we don't, we don't know what happened like ten, ten to five seconds before that. What? Clip. Like, why is this even news? Like, I'll be kidding well, each other. This isn't news. This is black people online being ass jack jackasses and shit stains. Um, this isn't. This is really news. God Ninja said she trying to find a safe place. The baby mama left. Yeah, this is. This is. So suit a slide of benevolence says five dollar challenge. Are you brave enough? Yeah, man. Let's try to get thirty five dollar challenges tonight, man. I mean, come on. Like, what nation? What kind of nation can't we can't get thirty of y'all guys to take the five dollar challenge? Thirty. Take the five dollar challenge, man. Out of what hundreds on Twitter and on um, I mean on um on a rumble and on um YouTube. Get get them lakes up too. Ak, yeah. You think exactly. you can go to Memphis tonight? Uh, and, uh check sure. on the story of the uh you know Ben Crump back in Memphis. He got him another yeah, family. Yeah, I heard. I heard. We'll go to Memphis tonight. Um I got to figure out. So, I think we might have cracked this code cuz this stumped me, man. Um this stumped me. So it's it's the fact that the white kid got to play with it. But why do they never consider that this could have been an hour-long video? This could have been a two-hour-long video. Why do they always – why are they so easily um, yeah. taken into the emotional depths? Because these comments – listen to these comments, man. Um Bacon Overlord says, yeah, such a horrible environment. She might learn how to interact with people from other races and become a pillar of society someday. <laughs> He's getting that from this eight-second video about, about this girl. I think I've seen enough, I It hurts. Mm. It hurts. And the baby not even interested <laughs> in the skunk. Look, like she didn't reach for the skunk. She wasn't crying. Like I wanted to. Like she just walked away. Like okay, whatever. Um, Dion, Dion says, or you can teach your child to fear no one and judge people by the character and not the color of their skin. That's what my parents taught me. Why are they like this? It's easier. This white, <laughs> yeah. This white woman says, what's going on that's dangerous? It's toddlers totally unaware of anything and toddling around with absolutely no pattern or rhyme or reason to their behavior. They make no sense at all. There's a stuffed animal and toddlers moving around. It could be all melanin and the same. So that white woman is, is asking in the chat what's so all the fuss about. So she's about to get a tape. <laughs> and then Jay Austin says, I got to agree with her. Environments like that tend not to be safe for our kids. Real. That's not what she was saying, Jay Austin. She wasn't saying that. Um, <sighs> so but you know, I, but you know, I can't think of a more dangerous environment for this young girl than this one. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's very hard to think of one, man. Um, I'm sure let, let, by the end of the show we'll see a couple, but um, mm. yeah. My, um, um, my child is the only black person in her classroom, and she's been like that going on two years. I don't know. I see a difference in her, in her really? behavior. Well, according to these people, you better count your blessings. 
Well, Brown Sugar, she, that's interesting. She, How so? What do you mean? She just tie her jacket around her waist and I always want to I don't know, like her the way she talks, she's like, yeah, so, mom, yesterday. She's gliding. It's like yeah, gliding. she's like, yesterday, she's gliding. we went oh, yeah. outside, and then she pushed her hair back behind her ears, like. Oh, like, yeah, that's definitely, she's definitely yeah. indoctrinated. Once so, they start doing the ear thing, yeah. it's she's gliding. Like, so how do you feel about that, Bron? <laughs> yeah. How do you I'm feel like, about that, Bron Sugar? And she drinks so much water. That's good. <laughs> how do you feel about that, though? How do you feel about as, these as behaviors? As opposed to Kool Aid. When she, yeah, look, when she was with black kids, I could not get her to drink water. Now Dang. with these white children, she's like, I love water. I love my water. Dang. Does, does, she, does <laughs> she have a favorite brand of bottled water? No, she just love water. And she, she, she said, "I love my water bottle, Mom." I'm like, okay. <laughs> if you're not careful, she might be start uh, start drinking Starbucks. You gotta take, you gotta, you gotta keep an eye on it. But I'm sure, how do you feel about how do you feel about these changes though? They they seem like positive changes, right? I keep think it. they're positive. She drinks water. She goes outside yeah. more. Keep keep her from um, the pumpkin spice. <laughs> she loved the smell of pumpkin spice. Uh-oh. Yeah, that, oh, she's Uh-oh. done. She has Sorry, a pumpkin. That. She still has, they, she has a pumpkin that they, I did not give her. A white woman gave it to her. Well, there's and no then, coming back once you get into the pumpkin spice. I'm trying to tell you, not <laughs> try, try giving her a sweet potato. It might turn her around. There you no, go. I couldn't do that. I want to keep her on the right path. Hey, yeah, you true. know what though? Could you <laughs> guys like imagine? It. If they pulled out a certain other kind of little woodsy animal, likes to play in the trash and shit. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> nah, nah, that would have been, <laughs> been too much. E- even I would have been like, damn. Nah. <laughs> yeah, they gonna pull out an Ocknation doll. Yeah, an Ocknation bear. An Ocknation bear. You should sell them in the merch store, man. Yeah, man. Like with the shirt, <laughs> with the hoodie. Yeah, Yo, but, but but she sounds happy, Brown Sugar. I'm happy to hear that. You sound happy, and she sounds happy. It's good to hear. The Oc Nation stuff coons. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. She's happy. Perfect. Good, good. Salute to Brown Sugar for um raising her kids, doing um recognizance, man. Up there, man. <laughs> Getting into yeah. yeah, I got to get them out of young. Got to get them out of young. Yeah, yeah. Because if you yeah, don't, man. it's too uh, late. Then and what? They and what age group is she in? Stay instead of converting to them. <laughs> yeah, she'll convert that. Um, and what age group is she in? If you don't mind me asking, because that's amazing what you're saying. It's oh, pretty... she's young. She's like six, six. Okay, mm-hmm. interesting. Nice. So she's gonna probably. I'm she's not going gonna... back to Black and staying. So. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. In a few years, I'm probably gonna be on a having swim a team. white son-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Good. I mean, hopefully, really, you know. Or if he I mean, is black, he's gonna probably be some nerdy black guy. And, and don't you have a, a black grandparent? I mean, a white grandparent? Um, brown sugar. My great great grandfather is a uh, white. So if you have a white, if your daughter has a baby with a white guy, that and mixed with that ancient white DNA, that baby might come out looking like whole white, like white white. I don't know, cause my I told you my my great my great grandmother is from uh, West Africa, from Nigeria. Those, I mean from those, Ghana. Those so, Hebrews, those Hebrews would say he just looked white. Yeah. And and listen, white jeans are strong as hell, they man. So strong. I, I don't know why <laughs> black people like if you go on Instagram, it's a black woman. She's black. Her husband is white. Their child yeah, I saw the kids. I saw that one. Is yeah. White. Yeah. I see it all the time. Listen, I see that just my, my neighbor, they're like that. Like their kid is a white, he's white. And it's like it just it, it is no mix. No, that motherfucker's white. So yeah, it is. It is. I've seen. I see it every day. Um, salute to George Turner. He says in the full video, the baby sitting down called her ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, um, fisherman man. 
Fisherman, what you got? What you think about this? Is are we right? Is that the offense that's happening here that we that 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 they're not giving the letting the they're letting the white kid get preferential treatment over these two black kids? Is that what we're seeing? I think Fisherman's having some audio difficulties the last couple of nights, man. Um, I want to him. Babies. Who well, could be the blame him. for that? Just <laughs> everybody on the panel. Yeah, I'm to his hey, ass. Hey, is the kid is the kid in the blue shirt black? He looks, yeah, I mean, look at the hair. Look at the He's hair. Um, I couldn't tell. He might be just black. Look at that hair. Yeah, he could just be black and just light skinned. And is that a tiger yeah. kid? It's a tiger kid right there. Damn yeah, that's girl. a tiger kid back there, and the tiger kid didn't get to touch it either. He's Damn. a model minority. Look at this model minority baby right here. <laughs> <laughs> She's reaching too. Like, give me that thing. Right. She probably yeah. just got Hurry the up and give. test scores and shit. And she yeah, probably yeah. know her ABCs already and shit. <laughs> He's like, hurry, hurry up and give. Hurry up and give. Yeah, hurry up and give. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, hurry up and give, give. I ain't gonna yeah, lie, man. those some cute babies. Like, oh. I don't know how you get anything evil or right, right. terrible. Just be, just be joyless. Super some, some... adorable video of a bunch of babies of all different races. It's come right. together. Look at a, a little animal. Like, this is beautiful. And she got that miserable thing in her head out of this little clip. Like, that lady is right. a witch. Exactly. She's a witch. Exactly. I agree well, um, Fionn says... In the, in the comment section of this video says, exactly, I remember a story where a black woman was murdered down in Georgia at some sleepover party, and she was the only melanated one there. Uh-oh. You know what that means. I mean, this is in the comment section of this video. These people are sick. Um, this one says, um, the Bessandra's princess. She says, I agree. We lived in Atlanta. My kid's school was 13% black. And the rest were white. She never had any issues with bullying or racism. But as she's gotten older, she has expressed about wanting to go to school with more black kids and not being the only one or two black kids in her class. That girl crazy. <laughs> yeah. And she won't learn fast. She's going to get bullied real soon, she, soon as she get around on black kids. Yeah, it's they tough. It, listen, I, I know this for example. This is tough because I, when I lived in Boston as a young kid, I was around very diverse. Now, don't get me wrong. Everybody wasn't fucking white. But it was very diverse. There was a lot of white people in my classes. In, or I think I was in like, I don't know if I was in preschool or whatever. But So I moved to D.C. We moved to D.C. 84. I think I was six or seven. When we moved six, I think we were six when we moved to DC, and everybody was black. And there was a culture shock, man. Like going from a place where there's white kids and Hispanic kids and black kids to going to a place where everybody's black. Yo, black pe black kids bullying is just different, man. The bullying and the name calling and the the severity of it. And it lasts the forever wickedness. until your 30s. Yeah, the 40s. wickedness, the, the mean spiritedness of the, we called it Jonin in DC. So at those days, they called it Jonin when you talked about, when you talked about somebody. We called it Chicken in Memphis. It's Chicken. It, oh, okay. Chicken. Okay. It was so real and so abusive and so mean spirit and so meant to cause harm like people talk about words causing harm it was meant to make you feel so low um it was a culture shock but i i i i i got accustomed to it you know really quick but when you when, when you're not around black people and then you go around them it it is shocking to the senses <laughs> um I hope that little I hope that woman does not let her little kid girl go around black people. Um and she's not, not terrible black people like 
I think mm, they look girl. I don't know. I hope she grow to be a tough prosecutor and put these niggas behind bars or something. Oh, she's gonna be a prosecutor, but I don't know she's gonna be tough. Well, I hope she be tough. 